How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you a gameplay commentary. In this commentary what I want to talk about is party exclusions in Halo 5. I really find that this is the biggest issue right now in the game that really deters my experience and fun with the online multiplayer of Halo 5. Now let me start off by saying I absolutely love the multiplayer in Halo 5. It's I would say it's hands down the best since Halo 3. I think a lot of people would agree with me as well. But there's currently a really big issue with the multiplayer and that is that there is no exclusions for parties. And what I mean by that is that if you have a team of four guys jumping into an arena, you can get matched up against a team of randoms. And now you just probably think, well, they're just, you know, you're partying up with people. That's kind of comes with the game. The thing is, though, is that it really hinders the online experience for the team of randoms because they just get completely stomped on. How fair is it for a team of four who are working together with communications, know their opening routes, and work together to evenly spread themselves out across the map and optimize their killing potential? Compared to a team of randoms who may not have as much motivation to win or really care or just playing just to shoot things. It really ruins the experience of playing online and wanting to grind to rank up and get up into a higher level or a higher division. I'll show you a perfect example here of why match exclusions need to happen so parties only match up with parties and randoms only match up with randoms. Now here's a post that was recently put up on Reddit. It was showing that this one player went 39 and 1 for the last 40 matches that they played. Nothing against him. I totally agree with playing the parties. That's a really fun way to play the game and enjoy it. All for that. Trust me. But the thing is though, is when you're playing as a full party, especially in Warzone, you get teamed up up against a bunch of randoms. And so you have a full party of people who know what they're doing. And you can see right here, it's victory. And look at the time the times that it took to win an entire Warzone match. Yeah, you can see the scores here, completely lopsided and just honestly not fair for the opposing team because they're just a team of randoms getting matched up against a full party of people. But you can see all the win times are extremely fast. They're getting tons of points, tons of rec points, and the other team is just com getting completely slaughtered. Now, again, like I said, I'm not bashing the people who are playing in the party. I am all for that. Who I am bashing right now is 343 because they're just letting full parties completely stop on random players. And those random players are going to be the guys who, you know, they're just going to be like, well, screw it. I don't feel like playing anymore because I'll get just smashed by a full party. Their team is helpless against this demolishing of another team. So I just hope that it shows an example of just why parties should only be matched up against parties in Halo 5. It just doesn't make sense. It's really not fair, really ruins the motivation to play the online multiplayer since all of it's ranked except for Warzone. So what 343 really needs to do, and I mean really needs to do, is have it so parties only match up with parties in Halo 5. This was done previously with Bungie and their Halo games as well. Now you may just say, oh, just go find people online to play with and stuff like that. But see, a lot of people don't have the luxury of being able to be in constant communications with their own team. For me, for example, I live in a small one bedroom apartment. If I want to play Halo while my girlfriend watches TV, I can't be yelling call outs and weapon spawn locations while she's trying to do something or trying to study for school. That's incredibly rude on my part. So I can't be talking on communications, but I want to play Halo, so that's all I can really do. And I'm sure a lot of other people have a similar situation as well. Say if you're playing late at night and you don't want to be yelling out callouts and waking people up, but you still want to play Halo online, well then you're just kind of screwed. And again, I just want to reiterate, I am not bashing people playing in parties at all. I'm all for it. That's actually the best way to play Halo, the most fun way, really. But you know, a lot of people just don't have that ability to do that. So what 343 again really needs to do is have parties match up with parties, randoms match up with randoms. Everybody wants this. It'd be a much more enjoyable experience to play online. Yes, it may increase the, the search times for those parties, but honestly, it's not fun playing against as a party, playing against a team of randoms. It's really boring. You're just really fighting for kills. It's an easy win. There's no challenge or anything like that at all. So please, 343, this is the best thing you can do to improve the Halo 5 multiplayer experience is by having parties match with parties. Please do this. Everyone will enjoy it a lot more. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this commentary video, please make sure to tap that like button. And I'll catch you in the next video, guys. Peace out.